Okay, in this video I'm going to talk about how to improve the testing of your site. So once you begin to get traffic and you start selling a few products or maybe you begin to get some AdSense clicks or you get subscribers to your blog, then you want to begin to test out different ways of doing the same thing to see if it gets a better result. And there's, there are some great websites online that you can pay to use their tool and, and figure out how to optimize your sales pages and things like that. But really my goal is just to show you a simple spreadsheet that you can create and begin the process of just doing some simple testing. So I'm using a Google Docs spreadsheet and I've got my main categories here. Test name, so that's just the name of something I'm going to test. So on one of my blogs, I'm going to test my opt-in rate for my email list. The date range is it's going to cover the entire month of May. And then hypothesis. This is the what I think will happen or what I'm interested to find what will happen from. Uh, it's kind of like a theory of what I think will happen. So what I'm going to do is remove the pop-up that I'm currently using and see if the results of the opt-in change. And then there's a place for me to log the results for later. So each line is going to have its own test. Now each test has its own sheet in my spreadsheet so that I can have a little bit more details to follow. So you can't see it, it's just outside of the reach of the screen but I have a, a separate sheet inside the spreadsheet. It's just the tabs along the bottom and if I click on it, it's going to take me over to my actual test page. So again, my test is the CPA opt-in rate. And I'm going to have test A and test B. So um, I'm just setting this up as an example for you guys so you can see how it is. So test A would be So let's say the, the first test uh, was to use the pop-up to try to get subscribers. And the date range and I also like to try to make sure that I've got um, comparable tests. So test A and test B, one of the great ways you can do it on your website is to test it by the same amount of traffic. So while I'm using a date range as my guide, I'm really wanting to, to watch closely and make sure I get about the same, roughly the same amount of unique visitors. So for example, if I were just to say, you know, during this 15 or this, these two weeks, um, I had uh, 80,230 unique visitors. And from that, um, let's say I had 42 subscribers. So, and you can get this number from analytics, and you can get this number from your, like MailChimp or AWeber. And so these are the, this is what we're measuring. So then for test B, you come along and you would write something that is what you're going to, basically what you're going to do instead of the first, what you did on the first test. So basically, I'm just not going to use a pop-up, but I do have a call to action in the sidebar. And let's say we're going to run this we'll run this here. And then let's say that we end up with I'm just choosing numbers out of midair. Um, and the subscribers, let's say they were, then we obviously have just tested this out to see that, you know, this is a better way for me to get subscribers. Now, equally, I can continue to test if I think I've got another variable. So maybe my call to action is at the end of every single post and I've got a call to action for my 
newsletter, subscriber, sign up in my sidebar as well. Then I can maybe run this from and let's say that one was and so obviously I'm really simplifying this process but hopefully you begin to see why it's good for you to set up and test because you can begin to see you know what works consistently to get more subscribers to my site so if this was the case then I would get rid of the pop-up and I would leave my call to action at the uh, end of every post or maybe I could even have the call to action at the end of every post and do the pop-up and maybe that results in 60 some subscribers but the idea here is you want to choose um, areas that you want to test and what's great about this list is I can I can combine it with different types of tests so maybe my next test will be on will be on optimizing my AdSense and maybe another one is on my product sales page so hopefully you get the the point here but the idea is create a, a master test spreadsheet and begin testing things on your site and find out what works best and then maybe every once in a while you go back and you retest it to see if you're still getting the same results